Morning Man of Church, Ben Goodman here with session five of this week's series on the yoke of the Lord. I hope, not that you've been enjoying it, but you've been getting something out of it. Um, like I said, Jesus doesn't entertain. He doesn't try to make us happy so that we'll like him, but he's always giving us words, even if they're challenging, he gives us words which if we grab them, they bring life to us, they transform us. And, and the yoke of the Lord um, in, in Matthew chapter 11 is just one of those challenges. I'll just read it again. Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. When I first read that just recently, a couple months ago, I went, wait, Jesus, in 1128, you said, come to me and I will give you rest. And now you're saying, take my yoke and you will find rest. I mean, it got me going. I'm going, rest is a commodity. You're giving something to someone. And now you're saying there's a rest that it comes as a result of a process. Uh, I didn't accuse Jesus of a bait and switch, but I was going, it says that we'll find rest, but I thought you already gave us rest. The word rest there is just a little different in this portion of scripture. This kind of rest is the result of a process. It's the result of allowing Jesus over time to teach us how to think, how to act, how to manage our emotions and how to see things. That there's a kind of rest that's different than just getting a breather. The, the word there is anapazine. And it, there's two sides to, the, to this coin. One is, is to cease laboring or striving in your own strength to live a good life. That, that's sort of the essence of it. But the other side is, if we cease that kind of striving, God will come in and, <clears throat> excuse me, and he'll bring a, a supernatural strength that will sustain us, um, renew us, give us a vitality that can't come just from our own strength, our own will, our, our own character. It's an amazing thing. And Jesus is saying, I'll give you rest so I can minister to you, but take my yoke upon you and over time, you will get rest for yourself. You will stop trying so hard to be good enough, trying so hard to fulfill everything. You will want to fulfill my will for your life, but you'll let me do it through you. Jesus' words are not comfortable. They rub, they cut against our nature. But when we take them and start working what Jesus tells us to do, we experience something in our soul it's like a freedom um, that comes from God and not our good efforts. As a matter of fact, John 8.31 says, if you hold to my teaching, if you submit to his yoke, then you're my disciple, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. There, there is a kind of rest for us who decide to put on Jesus' yoke and let him teach us those things. See you tomorrow.